All right, guys, welcome back to Frugal Homestead. So we had this moment, this day, where we're gonna get up to about 56 area with some wind. Now, we're not gonna have too many more of these warm days. So today, we're gonna take that opportunity to do some caulking and some painting. Now, when we say caulking, we don't mean just prettying up. We're trying to do this to keep winter out. So if you live in really any house, but if you live in a trailer, or anything with a metal frame under it, like a modular or one, something like that, you're definitely gonna have heaving, which is when the ground freezes and thaws and your house will actually micro move up and down just a little bit, which twists your house. Okay, it even does this on like houses that don't have basements especially, like to heave. So around the trim, around windows and stuff, your caulking will stretch and move around doors, things like that. So I'm gonna go get those all caulked and then I'm gonna paint all the trim. And then at the same time, Missy's gonna be painting a piece of the front porch that still needs done. We're just trying to get these like little projects knocked out while we have the good weather. Um, now I do wanna say that normally you would try to use silicone for these projects, but because of the fact that it's colder, uh, silicone doesn't play well with cold temperatures. You can do it, but at all the years I've been in construction, I find that on colder times, especially if I have to paint, the Alex Plus, um, which is a silicone mix, like a painter's caulk with silicone, it seems to work well on cooler temperatures to be able to stay in there and hold on. So let's get started. I got some caulking to do. Okay, just so you guys have a better understanding, of what I'm talking about. I know this is not the best footage, but you see it's sealed. All right, there's a spot. There's a spot. If we come down here, you can see those. Just pinholes and little places it's ripped out. We're gonna recock all those and get this back to sealed up again. You can see here, it's actually ripped away from the board a little bit. I didn't put a lot of caulking on this when I put it up last year and these boards dried out some, so it probably cupped a little bit and pulled out. We'll get it fixed up though. All right, it doesn't matter whether I'm using a latex or silicone or this is a acrylic latex plus silicone, Alex Plus. I do it the same way every time. I cut an angle and then cut a back angle, all right, and I drag my seam down like this or up like this. I use a old rag that's wet to wipe my finger off in between. Remember, when you're putting caulking on, try to only put on what you need. Try not to gloop it up or stop moving because it'll gloop up in that spot and then it, it really shows. And don't forget to pop your tube. Then we just take, wipe our finger off, then rub it together. And then we can continue on with a clean finger. It's important to note on this one, I'm not getting worried about getting it over on the walls because the outside walls are gonna get painted next summer. So I'm just trying to get it sealed up.
So it's not pretty, but it works. No cold air can get in. And this time I pushed it back a little better and built it up. So when it heaves, it should give it a little bit more room to pull and stretch. Now I gotta go around the entire house and do all the windows and doors. All right guys, so my wife busted her butt. I came out at the end and was able to help her get this painted. The color still hasn't set yet. As it always is when you're painting stuff, you always end up running out of paint or out of time. Kind of both for us today. Temperature started to drop, we lost our sun. So basically, we got the coating on the outside. We still have to do the inside, so hopefully we get another decently warm day. I don't think it'll be a big problem. I got all the windows caulked and ready to go. So all we have to do now is put a coat of uh, paint and primer that I've got in the uh, wood burner building. Put that on the next warm day on the trim. It's a little too late in the day now. We don't have enough sun to dry it out good. I don't want to put it on unless it's going to dry. So we're getting there. Little projects. All you can do is chip away at them, man. You can only go as fast as you can go. So. We're going inside now, get something to eat, drink some coffee. We appreciate you joining us here on the Frugal Homestead, watching all of our projects and weird things we get into. And once again, if you're not a subscriber, please take a moment, think about going down below, hitting that subscribe button and that notification button. And until next time, I'm Tony, and we'll see you.